Welcome to Forever, man. Let's go. Come on. Come on. This is forever. Oh, thank f for that. <laughs> Welcome to the next instalment of my Ticketmaster series. This session I'm in Surrey here at Fort Blee Fishery. The weather's looking wet and windy. There's loads of fish in this lake to go out. So I'm going to see if I can winkle one or two out during the next 24 hours. I arrived there well before first light, knowing the gates were going to open at seven. Met Gary, the owner, in the car park, run for a few bits about the fishery. He's put me onto this area. Right in the middle of the lake, I think the fish have been hammered all summer, so they're sat in that middle body, which is accessible from here, or the few pegs down just the other side of the island. It's a beautiful lake, about 18 acres, and it is full to the brim of fish. There's over 2,000 carp in this lake, so I've got a really good chance in bagging a few for the camera. It's coming into winter now, so the lake's dead. There's no other anglers here. I think a lot of the fair weather anglers have put their stuff in the garage for the next few months. Got plenty of water to go at. I can move if I need to, he said, Get on the show and fish if there's one or two showing then generally there'll be a big shoal of them i'm going to start with solid bags cast at show and fish and just try and get that first bite and first fish in the net and see how the session unfolds there's a couple of benefits to using solid bags which suit this venue down to a t firstly there's a lot of weed out in the middle of the lake so if i cast the rig out and i don't quite get the perfect drop that i'd like i know that bag will open up and leave my hook bait presented perfectly. Secondly, I can present a little bit of bait without having to thrash the water to a foam with a spot and marker rod, which is absolutely ideal, just to try and nick a first bite and see how the session unfolds. Once I'd got round in, set my brolly up in the pouring rain, I gently cast the lead out, just right into the middle where the fish had been showing, and it was apparent how thick the weed was, so I gradually brought it back until I got a nice firm drop. I think it's a little bit silty just this side of the weed bed, so I'm quite happy fishing there. I put on two bags, I loop to loop them, I have the bags ready tied, loop to loop them onto my leader, and then I can cast them straight out, hit the clip, and I know they're going to sit perfect every time. Loop to looping bags that are pre-tied, it makes things a lot quicker and a lot easier, especially this time of year when your hands are cold. I've been here a couple of hours now and it's quite apparent there's just no fish here. I've not seen any signs of fish, not had any liners, so it's just quite obvious to me there's not a lot of fish in the swim. I have, however, seen a few signs and a peg a few swims down. So I've got the barrel loaded, I'm gonna grab my buzz bars and shoot up there before this rainstorm gets any worse. That's it, that's my final spot of bait out. Over my two rods, I've got them both bang on the same spot. Seven or eight spots of boiler crumb over the top. Hopefully enough to entice the fish into feeding. Spent a couple of hours in that first peg this morning. Nothing availed, but that's fishing. I've seen fish out here, so it's looking much better going into the night. Thankfully, since the rain stopped, the temperature's come up a little bit, so it's a little bit more comfortable. I don't think it's gonna be too cold tonight either, which is a result. I've got some nice tasty grub to cook for dinner tonight, so if the fish are as hungry as I am, I'll definitely catch a few. That was certainly a quiet night for the books. I didn't have a single touch down that other end. I had my rods out on the spot all night. I was watching the water. I didn't see anything. I didn't have any liners. Just a, a dead night in general, really. I was up early this morning. Wandered down here and seen a couple of fish show. There's a couple of fish show here yesterday, but they were really small fish, so I didn't really want to jump on it. I thought I'd stick where I'd seen the better fish. Unfortunately, it didn't pay off, but pure desperation. I've reeled the rods in and come down here for the final hour or so before I have to go to work to see if anything comes from the move. There's several factors which I take into account when it comes to winter fishing to try and maximise my time on the bank. The first thing I do is select my venue wisely. I'll always peck a venue like this one, which has got loads of fish, so I'm giving myself the best chance possible in a bite. As well as that, when I'm actually fishing, I'll minimise everything down, so I'll use smaller particles of bait rather than big eight in my boilies. 
Boily crumbs are a great option because you're putting in loads of small particles which keep the fish grubbing around rather than them eating whole boilies and getting full really quickly. Another thing I like to do is use smaller baits, 10, 12 mil pop-ups or 8 mil wafters are perfect just to try and nick a bite. When fishing with pop-ups and wafters in the winter, you can boost them to give them that extra bit of attraction, extra liquids, extra additives, anything to make them stand out from anyone else's baits. I think if you use a high visual hook bait, the fish can just snatch at it, they just wonder what it is, and without having any hands, the only thing they can try is with their mouth, and that's when my size four hook now is in the bottom lip. During the colder months, it's vital that you come prepared with the right kit and the right clothing. In the summer, I'm a sucker for not taking my stove. I'll live off meal deals and fizzy drinks, but this time of the year, I always have my stove. I have a couple of bottles of gas as spares. I'll have bivy lights, my power packs will be full, so I'm, I'm prepared for the night. The last thing I want to do is run out of power or run out of light, be fishing uncomfortably, because when I'm uncomfortable when I'm fishing, I just don't fish effectively. So I'll have extra clothing on the van. If I get wet, I can knit back and get changed. And on top of that, I'll always have a spare hat, I'll always have my wellies, and I'll always have a set of gloves. I might not need them, but at least if I've got them and I do, they're there, ready to go. This is my solid bag rig. I use it all year round, but it really is a perfect rig for winter as well. I've got a little eight mil pop up on there. I also use wafters, depending on the session. A nice strong size four hook. This one's barbed, the fishery rules here state that you have to use barbed hooks, which I think is a great rule myself. And then I've got a two ounce inline lead through to a leadless leader. So I can loop to loop the, at the spliced end of the leader straight onto my main line, meaning I can sling a new bag out there in no time at all. I feel like I've been waiting a lifetime for that bite. Right at the death, I've uh, almost got everything packed up. And it absolutely melted off. Certainly feels good to be playing one. I've definitely had to work for a bite. Sufficient far out now. Is that quite a nice? Quite a nice one. She's in, come on. Took long enough, but we've got one in the end. It's like a nice mirror. Oh, that's a scaly beauty as well. That's certainly no blank saver. That's much better than that. Happy days. Oh, what a cracker. Well, that's a beauty, well worth the wait. Let's see what she weighs. I reckon she might scrape 20 pounds. Check her fins are nice and flat. And then hook her up. Twenty-one. Twenty-one and a half. That would do nicely. Twenty-one and a half pounds of scaly mirror carp. Well, what a lovely fish. Certainly not a blank saver when they look like that. It just goes to show when the tactics are right and you locate the fish like I've done this morning, the tactics will work and you will get bites. The fingers can't get any worse. We're all wet, we're all cold. And right at the death, the rod rattles off with this lovely 21 and a half pounder. I'm chuffed to bits to get this one in the bag. Certainly not a blank saver when they look like that. I'm late for work now though, so I've got to finish packing everything up and shoot off before this rain gets any worse.